Let's talk about some precious metals, guys. All you need to do is comment below what you prefer more, gold or silver. Let's begin. So, guys, when it comes to talking about silver and gold, there's a lot of things to cover. So, please pay attention. I'm going to show you a lot of stats, a lot of things that's happening in the United States and around the world. So, please follow through. Guys, all the things that I'm telling you on throughout this video are on my website, AndreJimMcClinton.com and are on these websites. So please click on the links so you wanna check out in your free time. So let's begin guys. The first thing off, the Fed balance sheet has been exploding. And it hasn't just been exploding because of coronavirus. It has been exploding before that and it's gonna continue getting larger and larger. Now what this means is that the, the purchasing power of the dollar is going to get worse and worse. And if you wanna maintain your purchasing power, one good way, a few good ways it would be purchasing gold and silver in my opinion. Now let's look at this. Here is the dollar purchasing power chart. It has been collapsing since it's, since the Fed was enacted in 1913. It is going to get worse and worse. So people who are earning hourly wages and, and can't beat inflation, it's going to get harder because inflation is going to go up and your payment is going to be stagnant and these random lockdowns are going to be happening more often now if you if you listen to if you listen to more about what, what i talk about why lockdowns are happening they need to control the money velocity and a good way for this to happen is if they lock us all down it has nothing to do with covid covid has an extremely high survival rate they need to do this so they can control the markets even more buy up as much as they possibly can so let's get to that here's the fed's balance sheet and over the last year you can see it's going up by the billions every single month the, the Fed is buying as much as they can. Now, this is, you know, to some people, like, the Fed's helpful. No, the Fed is actually ruining it, causing this depression to be even worse. So we'll look at some debt-to-GDP, some numbers about this, guys. You can see that our debt-to-GDP has been <laughs> doing really, really bad, especially since 08. And it is, it's going to get worse and worse. They're trying to print our way out of this problem, but it's not. The, the biggest thing about this is that the government has gotten too much power, gotten too fat. Politicians have been eating off of this, off, off of people's work and success. And they're going to increase taxes, causing us to get poorer and poorer while they get richer and richer, making our debt even higher. So let's look at some other things about the gold silver ratio, guys. So gold silver ratio just is a good, it's a good way to see which one is more favorable how much uh, silver ounces it take to get one gold ounce now, i remember last year it's pretty nice we're out sitting at 114 now we're sitting at uh, 71. so I, my thing is owning both gold and silver but when we look at this chart here guys like all the years i think overall owning more silver than gold right now would be preferable for me for every 100 ounces it's about so lately i own ounce of gold and that's how i buy so let's check out the Dow silver ratio. So this is shows which one's more overvalued or which one more valuable. It shows how many ounces of silver it takes to get one share of the Dow. I think stocks are gonna go even higher and higher, causing, making the reverse move even better to owning precious metals. So people wanna go long the markets. I'm going long the markets also. But I'm gonna go long the markets and buy more physical uh, precious metals. So my upside's gonna be even higher. when the market does crash because the Fed can't support it forever. Same thing for the S&P 500. Look at S&P 500 to the gold ratio. You can see that once again, that gold, uh, that I'm sorry, that the S&P 500 is more overvalued than the gold. So if, as the as S&P 500 keeps going up, go long it because the, the Fed won't let this go down. They're going to try as hard as they can to keep pumping up the markets. Especially since we had recent highs, new highs. It's just going to go back higher, guys. Uh, next thing is going to be Dow gold ratio, same exact thing. You know, for me, this is just a huge wealth transfer that's going to happen. All these people are going to be jumping into stocks. Yes, going into stocks. But understand that you need to protect yourself. So when, if the market does reverse, you have another asset class go even higher. Also, we need to look at the uh, net US uh, national unemployment rate. That has obviously been going crazy. And since they're giving out all these stimmy checks and things like that, this, you need to pr protect your purchasing power. Uh, you know, I, I just want to make sure you guys learn about that because when you look at the debt clock, you know, I'm going to head back to my website. Let's see, debt clock. When you look at the debt clock, the debt clock just keeps on running up. Like, 
it just gets worse and worse to a point where we can't we're never going to pay this back we're either going to default or we're going to uh print through hyper uh print through uh inflation we're just going to make it appear and pay off our debt by hurting people who hold dollars and making people who invest internationally which is you know i, I talk about a lot of my videos invest internationally the dollar goes down and make your make can help you out uh when your everything else overseas goes up so look at the uh, look at the u.s national debt right here you can see that it just keeps on ticking and ticking guys this is not a very good this is not good at all we cannot sustain this forever so that's why another good reason why owning physical sorry that physical precious metals would definitely help out so guys i just want to make this i wanted to make this video very simple very easy to understand i don't want to go through all the numbers to make it complicated if you really want more information about it you can just go to my website click on the links or you can hit me up and we have a conversation i don't mind talking to you about precious metals or about the economy or politics just say so you know it's, it's fun it's entertaining but just let me know what your thoughts are please like share and subscribe thank you guys for making it to the end of the video see you in the next one